What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Okay, so... Yes, our last episode was Trick House number three and four. Now, here we are in this episode, and we're about to do Trick House number five and six. Now, Trick House number five and six it only start up when you have defeated both the Gym Leader at Fortree and then the Gym Leader at Mosty. Both of them don't need any kind of special requirements, you know, as in HMs and everything. So, this is going to be an easy episode, I hope. And yes, we did bring in some uh, other Pokemon right here. So, same thing as always. We are in uh, puzzle number five. And, uh, well, we're being uh, we're being watched. And, well, it seems to me that he's going to be right here, right? Now, my issue with this is that they completely forgot about the little sparkle. That way we can actually find this guy. What I'm doing is I'm actually looking at a guide right here just to make sure that I'm, I seem smart to you guys and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, let's go right ahead and challenge this guy for the fifth, the fifth battle right here. And as you guys can see, this place right here is different from pretty much every, everything else. This... These kinds of puzzles require question. Well, they're basically a questionnaire. If you battle them, I don't think you have to battle them. Or yeah, you probably have to battle them. You have to battle them, and of course, they're gonna be asking you some questions right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at this guy right here, and he's gonna be like, "Clickety clack, Mega Doll, I am." If you answer quizzes correctly, then you will get to Mega Doll number five, and then you can obtain a secret code. Mecha Doll quiz number one. One of these Pokemon does not use Leech Life. Which one is it? And, well, everything is different. Everything is different from every single version right here. So, from this point, which Pokemon does not use a Leech Life? That happens to be Dust Tox. Yes. Now, every single question is going to be randomized. And it's, uh, you know, a question of, uh, it's basically a question, of, a questionnaire of three separate questions, three random questions and all that stuff. Of course, this is number two. This guy right here will either ask you which Pokemon was chasing Birch or which, uh, which Pokemon did, uh, Team Aqua use in the, in the Petalburg Forest. So, as you guys can see, Professor Birch was getting chased by a Zigzagoon in this little situation because, you know, Zigzagoon happened to be vicious. So that right there is that. Now, I think we have to go back down right here. Here is uh, number three. Matters of money are my sole purpose. This one usually gets everybody because, well, you know, we don't really remember everything. So the question here is, which costs more, three, three Harbor Mails or one Burn Heal? That is a very, very easy answer. It is the Burn Heal. And uh, there you go. Now, if you go down here, this is an exclamation point. We are close to the scroll. This guy here is like, oh, that's me? Objects of beauty. So, let's see. In Lava Ridge, were there more elderly men or elderly women? And, uh, well, it looks like to me there were more el elderly men. And there you go. We have correct. We've gotten the correct answer. Now, we got the scroll and bam. Now, mind you... If you screw up uh, in any one of these uh, these uh, questions, including the one right here, or including the last one after you get in the scroll, uh, gotten the scroll uh, password, you do have to start all over again, and that is something that we kind of don't want to do. So here we are in number five. This one right here is the master, the master's best and proudest achievement. Am I okay? So let's see the Slateport in Slateport's Poke Fan Club. How many Pokemon were there? And, well, I'm looking at this right now, and it's kind of funny how he says this because it's like you don't, you don't pay it, like a lot of the players, including myself, we don't really pay attention to how many Pokemon are around or surroundings. We just want to get to the spot, get it, go, and then get into the next place. And, well, there were three Pokemon there, and bam, we have completed the uh, fourth or the fifth, <laughs> the fifth Trick House uh, place, and yes, bam, easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's gonna be like, "Ah, you made it to me. You're sharp. Took me all night to make those mecha dolls and other uh, and others to think up a quiz." And yes, we're gonna get our reward. And here we get ourselves the TM12. That right there is. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and take a look at this guide right here. It's never too bad to to look at a guide, guys. So let's go right ahead and see what we got. We got ourselves. 
TM12, that is Taunt. That is a, well, for strategic purpose, it is a very, very good move. So, there we go. That is a number five. So, we're going to be going into Trick House number six because we are up to seven badges. And uh, that is something that we kind of want to get because there is a special item that we want to get from this guy right here. So that was number six, or that was number five. Now we're going to be going straight into... We're going to be going straight into number six right here. We're being watched. And... Well, it looks like to me, he is going to be right here into the cupboard. Oh, actually right here. Nope. It's right here. There you go. Okay. So he has found us, and this is number six. And like I said before, guys, you do not need any Pokemon that... They have any HMs. This is strictly a, you know, as you go kind of thing. And I'm kind of afraid to take a, take a look at what we have inside. And yes, we got the puzzles from, uh, yeah, Fortree City. So let's see. That won't help. And I probably did a good thing by moving that around. So let's go right ahead and get to that scroll. That won't move. Let's go right here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and start showing off our next few Pokemon. The Pokemon I've chosen, not this guy, are Claymore, Desert Storm, and Fluff Blade. Yes, you guys have seen how leveled up they are. No, I am not going to be using them for the rest of this whole walkthrough. The only reason I have them is because, well, that's history right there. Plus, they might be of use going into... Oh, wow. Yeah, going into, uh, what was it called? Uh the Battle Frontier. So it's probably a good thing that I got these guys. So let's go straight for a Dragon Breath attack. Oh yes, Desert Storm doing some th some stuff right here. And because of a mist, we won't be able to paralyze Swablu right now. Okay, so let's go Crunch attack right here. I probably shouldn't have uh, taken away its Rock Slide or something like that. I didn't learn Rock Slide. Probably did. I don't know. So there we go. We have defeated this guy. And well, she is coming out with a Roselia. So Let's go with Fluff Blade. Eventually, I kind of want to say this, but I kind of want to make a full team of the Blades, the the Ninja Turtles. What else? All these Pokemon that have theme song or themes to them. And well, unfortunately for us, we do not have a flying type attack. Whose idea was that? So let's go ahead and do this again. Dragon Breath, and here comes a Sweet Scent. And you know what? I might as well do this because I know you're watching and you're always being you're bitching at me about this. Here it is, safeguard. Look at that. We're not gonna be affected by anything. Magical leave. Alrighty, alrighty. So there we go. And the mist has worn off. Let's go with a dragon breath for the win. And wow, that wasn't for the win. So here comes the magical leaf. And let's go ahead and try this one more time. Oh my god. Okay, so let's speed this up. Speed this up, and there we go. Just like that, we have won. Okay, so I'm here not to waste time. So the Power Ranger has lost. And, well, now we have to move on right here. And let's see. I'm only assuming that we have to go right here, because... Huh. Yeah, that is true. Okay, so that won't help. Yeah, okay, so I, I see what this is all about. We have to go right here somewhere. Or, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a little confused right now. Go right here. And we have to go around. And we're going to be meeting up with another another fighter right here. Another Pokemon trainer. And here we have this guy. I'm getting dizzy from all these rotating doors. Okay, alright. He's getting very, very dizzy. And... Well, here we go. Gonna be taking on a Pokemon Ranger, coming out with a Cacturn. So this is a first looking at a Cacturn. And funny thing is, guys, originally I wanted to get a Cacturn as well. Uh, there, you know, I just want to say that in Pokemon, uh, in Pokemon Emerald or the Ruby Emerald Sapphire thing, like you know, what was it? it like I've always like there's there's so many options to many Pokemon that you can actually use that it's like you know it's kind of frustrating because it's like you kind of want to use this Pokemon but then you don't want to mix and match the whole uh, the whole what you call it the the type the typings and all that stuff if you have two of poison and one of grass and all that stuff that it gets it's it gets rather annoying so that's why like maybe you should make multiple teams now here we found ourselves a 
scroll and that right there will lead us towards the very end right here and hopefully we can get there um see so we go right here and right here and we did the right thing this will open up this one spot and grab this other piece of mail and that is a glitter mail again don't see the benefits of having mail right here why couldn't they give us like you know tms you know we could use some more tms and well here we go again taking on another trainer and this is a bird trainer and i'm seeing a theme right here and uh yeah i'm probably gonna have to act on it right now because it's kind of getting uh, it's kind of getting frustrating that i can't just defeat these guys real quick so let's go right ahead with claymore and claymore is uh well he's gonna get hit a little bit but thanks to its uh, defense it's gonna be good and seriously man you gotta learn some rock type moves Good gravy. Okay, so here we go. Iron Tail. This should be this should be another super effective move against like like flying types because they always hit some steals and stuff. And well, there we go. And here comes a Pelipper. So we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Raiden because well, logically, this is the only Pokemon that can really take it out in one fell swoop. And well, here we go. You got yourself a Pelipper, and well, we're gonna go with a Thunderbolt. And just like that, Pelipper has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so there we go. Defeated another Pokemon. And here comes a Zatu, so let's just complete it right here. Raiden. You take the you take you you, you take it from here. And the funny thing is that like off screen too, I did capture myself a Zatu. Both Natu and Zatu. Kind of thinking of like doing that now. Capturing its evolve form rather than just working for it and all that. And, well, Raiden, bam. There we go. Okay, so I think that's the last trainer right there. And this is where it does get tricky. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you know what? Right there and right there. No, it doesn't get that tricky. So, here we are writing the scroll. And, of course, Trickmaster is my life. He's not really my life, but, yeah. So, after completing the sixth, uh, the sixth Trick House event, you talk to him, and he's going to be giving you something very important if you do have any kind of electric type Pokemon, and that is a magnet. This will actually power up your electric type moves by like at least 20%. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Again, that's why the comment section is right there. So that is it right here, guys. Um, we could go for seventh and eighth, but like I said before. You have to complete the Sutopolis City Gym, and then you have to actually defeat the uh, the gym or the uh, the champion of Hoenn in order to complete this whole place right here. So, yeah, that has been this episode and the side quest going into well, going into the Groudon, Kyogre, and uh, Rayquaza events. If you guys remember, while we were going to the abandoned ship, we got a call from May saying that she saw a big green Pokemon, and that happens to be Rayquaza. So. A lot of things are going to be happening in the next few episodes. I'm happy to say that I'm excited about this, so stay tuned, guys. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for watching the walkthroughs, commenting, liking, all that stuff. You guys are greatly appreciated. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.